We have a new model from OpenAI and in today's video, I'll be doing a full review. So OpenAI recently released OpenAI 01, which is their latest and apparently their most powerful and most advanced model to date. So let's go ahead and actually use this model, see how it compares to the older uh, models and also see how it compares to Anthropic and some of their biggest competitors in terms of content generation. So let's go ahead and get started. They're still rolling out the API access. I currently do not have access to the API as yet, but I do have access to ChatGPT's 01 preview. And I think most of you will also have access to it if you have a plus plan. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the AI. So I told the AI when writing, I want you to follow these instructions. And these are instructions to write in a very humanized way to get a low AI detection score. So that's the first prompt at which I'm going to give it. And then I'm going to tell it to write an article. Before I tell it to write the full article, I'm also going to copy over some of my SEO prompts. And again, you can find these prompts in the description below today's video. Also, I want to let you guys know that we are still running our giveaway. If you'd like to enter, all you have to do is enter a comment below this video and you'd automatically be entered to win a free lifetime subscription to my school community, which also gives you access to my AI writing mastery course. So again, if you'd like to join, just leave a comment below. As you can see, the main difference between GPD-01 and some of the other uh, models from OpenAI is that this model actually takes the time to think. This model actually takes the time to think. It thought for 13 seconds before it gave us a response. So this is very interesting because OpenAI is moving away from instant um, sort of outputs because it's realized that people don't really care about instant things. They want, they care about things that are actually useful. And I agree with that. Like, I don't care if I get it within five seconds or if I get it within 20 seconds, that's not a big Delta. That's not a big difference, right? So I actually prefer that they're taking the time out to um, think about what the output should be based upon the inputs in which you're giving. So it says, absolutely. Can you please specify the topic that you'd like me to write about? So now I'm going to go ahead and copy over my prompt. For this, I'm going to copy over a topic that I recently wrote about because I want to sort of compare the output quality that we'll get from um, Claude Sonnet compared to what we get back from GPD-01. Um, so the topic is 10 plus questions to ask your real estate agent when renting in Canada. Okay, so let's go ahead and run this. So again, as we can see here, it's thinking. It's choosing the right rental, formulating the outline, outlining key questions, and crafting an outline. So thought for 11 seconds, and I think it's writing the full article actually. Oh no, it actually just gave us a outline. Okay, that's pretty good. That's a really, really good outline. So now I'm gonna tell it to write the full article. Let's go ahead and run this. And again, it's gonna be thinking. Um, it's gonna take its time to recap the task, crafting the article, crafting the best blog post, navigating the rental journey, verifying monthly costs, so it's going through each section of the article. I like this a lot. I think this is a really, really good move. This is really good. And I really like this approach because other models, like let's say Grok, focus on having, you know, outputs instantaneously. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I don't think people really care about having things instantly. Yes, there is um, an advantage to having things that are quicker. But if you're going to have to go back, you're going to have to change your outputs. You're going to have to reprompt it just to get what you're looking for. That actually takes more time. So I prefer the AI to take the time up front. I'll take a little bit more time to really think about the output and give me a much better output. So overall, this is the full article that we get back here. Um, it looks okay. Let's actually go ahead and do an objective test of this article in terms of content. So in terms of content length, it is about a thousand words, which isn't bad. I think if we we're using the API mode, we probably would be able to get much more content. We're going to do an AI detection test on originality.ai to see if this content was able to bypass AI detectors. We are using the light model and it looks as though as it is been detected as AI. So now we're going to do an SEO test on new and writer. So while that's loading up overall, I am fairly impressed with the output quality. I think it's really good. I think the quality of the article or the relevancy of the article is aligned with the topic. I don't really like how short the article is, but that's usually the problem when you're using the web app. If we are using the API, I can probably prompt it a little bit better to get better and longer outputs. Overall, I would say that this is pretty decent. I like that it already included links, even though we didn't tell it to include links. Um, when we actually do the SEO test, it'll be interesting to see what the SEO score we're able to get. 
but I do like that they included resources at the end here without us having to do so. I'll definitely have to do some more testing to see how um, O1 compares to Claude Sonnet. I still am swaying towards Claude Sonnet in terms of my writing, but again, that's when I'm using the API mode. So once I have the API access, I can really do an apples to apples comparison. In terms of SEO score, we got a 42 out of 62, which isn't bad. Um, for the word count, we are pretty good in terms of the SEO um, recommendations from Neuron Writer. But overall, obviously, we can go ahead and definitely make this a little bit better. Actually, let's go ahead and make this an H1 that should improve our score. Yeah, so 55. 55 out of 62 is not bad, especially keeping in mind that 62 is the number one most optimized content. So we're not far off. We're less than you know 10 away from the top ranked and the top optimized article without doing any further or manual optimizations. Overall, that is a good score, I would say, heading in the right direction um, when it comes to writing SEO optimized content. So overall, uh, this is a pretty good article. I actually want to make sure that these links are working. So let's go back over to that GPT. Yeah, so it looks like it's kind of hard to get those links open. But again, overall, I think this is a pretty decent article. I definitely recommend checking it out for yourselves and using this um, using this model for yourself.